My name is Meredith Grauer and I have Crohn's disease. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it right now. Before I had Crohn's, I was very happy-go-lucky, very positive person. I loved to travel and be spontaneous. It was around, um, right around my 22nd birthday that I started experiencing symptoms. The first real symptom was I was sitting at my desk at work and I would eat a yogurt and 30 seconds later I was having really intense abdominal cramping and I had to run to the restroom. Like run like I've never ran before and it became a daily issue. When I first went in to see the GI I was pretty nervous. I told him all of my symptoms and even without a physical exam or a colonoscopy he said I'm pretty sure this is either Crohn's or colitis. And at that point, I mean, I was just devastated. They said I had pancolitis, meaning my entire colon was completely inflamed and they had no clue how I was even getting up in the day and going to work. The bleeding got much worse. I would say that was the most terrifying part was just bleeding and there was nothing I could do about it. It was shortly after that that I got my first fissure, which was one of the most painful experiences of my life. And once I got that, my GI decided that it was more Crohn's rather than colitis. So I started going into my own shell. I got really depressed. I felt like there was really no future. I felt like there was a dark cloud just looming over me at every point in time. CCFA and Team Challenge changed me. I started hanging around a, a group of people who really did understand what I was going through because they were patients themselves. And it was this community and family where we could share stories and not feel embarrassed or ashamed. We made jokes. I mean, we made so many jokes. I joined Team Challenge back in 2010 and since then I've ran four half marathons with them. I have done three triathlons. Never in my wildest dreams, even before I was diagnosed, did I think that that was something that I could do. And it's completely lifted my spirits. It's, it's just changed my outlook on life, really. I'm 31 years old and I've had three major surgeries and probably about 10 other surgeries. I would want somebody to understand that even though I may not look sick on the outside, the inside is dying. I'm living without a huge organ in my body and although I don't have the normal symptoms of Crohn's disease, I go to the bathroom probably about 10 times a day. My body just processes things so quicker now, and by no means was that a cure. I'm very, very lucky that my family has been incredibly supportive. At my sickest point in the hospital, my brother was visiting me and he had told a friend that he wishes that it was him instead of me. And that's really touching. <laughs> My biggest fear is that it'll come back. I'll have to resort back to what I didn't even consider a life to the point where I thought that it would just be better to not be around. That's my biggest fear.